Okay, in this video we're going to look at how to make a model of volcano which will fold up and fit inside your book or inside of a piece of folding card. Now to start with, what we need is we need a square that's 21 centimeters by 21 centimeters because the width of the paper here, as you can see, is 21 centimeters, but the length isn't. The length of the paper is 29.7 centimeters. So what we want to do we want to draw a tab that's 43.5 millimetres or 4.35 centimetres at each side. So I'm just going to quickly measure that in here. So 43. We'll do the same on the other side. So again, I'm just going to measure that so I've got a very clear. Forty-three on each side. Then we draw the lines that will later become the tabs to follow a volcano on. One goes down there. And one goes down there. And then what I'm going to do next is I'm going to fold those in because we're going to want the volcano to be able to fold on it. So I'm going to try and make sure I get that straight. I'm going to use the edge of my nail to make it flat. Do the same with the other side. Okay. I'm going to turn it over. I'm going to repeat it the other side just to make this as flexible as possible. Making sure it's folding in the same place so I don't get any new crease marks. Again, using my nail to flatten that down. And again on this side. And again, using the nail to fold it down. So I've got the tabs there, they're the bits that can be stuck down. Now, what I want to mark next is the peak of the volcano. So I'm going to take this corner and I'm going to fold it up to here. And if I measured that right before, they should both be the same length, so that should fold nicely. If I get it slightly wrong, it won't matter too much. And again, I'm going to fold that one way. And then I'm going to turn it over. And fold it the other way. And again, if I'm not quite sure, I should be able to match the edges again there. So we get a line that now goes both ways. Okay, bottom right up to the top left. So we've got the other side. So you should see a nice clear cross. I'm going to do the same as I did before. I'm going to turn it over. So each of those are now folded both ways. <coughs> we should make them fairly flexible. Now at this point, this is going to become the peak of the volcano. These three bits are going to become the side of the volcano. And this back bit, we're going to stick together. And that's going to become the back of the volcano. So at this point we can colour it in. We want whatever we can show at the top here, going down the sides and onto the ground. So just to show that, this is how I've done it here. And you can see this section is not coloured. It doesn't matter if it is coloured, but we're going to lose it because what's going to happen, I'll show you now, push the peak up, might need a little bit of help with this. And this back piece is going to come in. So, just make sure that stays in the right place. There we go. You should be able to see how that's going to work as a volcano. So, what I want to do now is I want to glue this back section. So, we'll lay it down flat again. Take some print stick. Make sure all of that is glued. There we go. There we go. Cut off 
false starts, I've got we're in. And if you look on the out bottom, you can see that that mark is now completely glued together. And what we've now got is a volcano with two tabs, we might have to push those flat again. There we go. But it's not yet a folding volcano. So what we want to do now is we're going to stick it onto the piece of paper. Now I'm going to use a piece of card here that I've already folded down the middle. And the back of the volcano needs to mark onto there. So what we're going to do is we're going to put the volcano that we've already made onto the piece of folding card, or equally this could be the middle of the book. This bit needs to be on to the folding line. So I'm going to take the two flaps, just going to turn the volcano over for a second. Just go down one flap with glue. Down the other flap with glue. Make sure we line this back piece up. And if like mine, it's not quite pulling together at the back, it's a good chance to sort that out. Make sure the edges touch onto the edge of the paper there. And then we're just going to make sure this is straight. Which is not. Here we go. Smooth it all down. The same on the back. Smooth it all down. And we're just going to gently fold this over. We'll push this all down. Make sure it all goes flat. I need a bit of help with that. And then when we open it, we should have a working model volcano. We can close it. We can open it. We can add some colour on to show the land around the volcano. But it does now work.